Hello, hello. So this is my uh, Gregorian telescope that I uh, built. And I'd like to uh, mention that a gentleman by the name of Bad Bob the Astronomer on YouTube uh, helped me ascertain the uh, correct mirror to use for the, uh, this is a three mirror setup. So I have a mirror, a parabolic mirror down that tube there. And that's a uh, four inch mirror from an Orion tabletop telescope, a hundred millimeter table telescope. And uh, that's uh, the 13.1 inch Kaltier mirror. Uh, Kaltier was, uh, <clears throat> I believe it was the company before Mead. And uh, I got that mirror off of eBay. I think it was about uh, $400. And then the uh, it was a red uh, Orion 4-inch uh, tabletop. Uh, it was also about $100. That's in this uh, tube here. And uh, this spider is removable. And I could put in my Newtonian spider and then put in the focuser in this spot here. You can see I have the same setup down here that's holding the focuser right now so I can change it back and forth but right now it's in the uh, Gregorian setup where it's bouncing off the primary this uh, other mirror here and then finally the uh, the angled mirror which is from the um, uh, Orion tabletop telescope and I just kinda I use the spider too so this spider is also removable you can see there's bolts there to remove that spider uh, when I go into um, Newtonian setup. And uh, this is how I culminate. I got uh, three bolts here. Also, you can kind of move this around. I got a hose clamp. And then the tilt of the mirror, obviously, which right now it's just kind of stuffed in there. I just kind of got some duct tape holding it. But it's I uh, use the laser to uh, kind of line it up, so it's it's pretty close it's probably not perfectly culminated but it's uh, it's definitely working and uh, I can take the cage off with these uh, um, gas pipe unions here so if I unscrew these uh, I could take the cage off it is a little bouncy the telescope that's probably one of its drawbacks but as long as uh, it's not windy and you're not touching it it's up it's fine um, I can also rotate it right here uh, with these bolts and I could rotate this thing uh, that way if I want to and uh, the way I have this is uh, the locking mechanism for the y-axis so there's a pipe in there and that just tightens down uh, threaded through the bearing kind of like there and the same thing is happening with the motor drive and I want to use the motor all I gotta do is just barely tighten this and uh, that'll engage the motor. And I gotta be careful not to have that one tight and that one and trying to be using the motor or spin this while the motor's engaged because it may uh, not be good for the gears. And then the weight is adjustable. We got those, it's, the weight will slide back and forth. And I got some bungees in there to kind of that is a counterweight.